Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter nine, lesson seven, and the finale of chapter nine. So let's go ahead and get started. So these want you to be able to transfer what it gives you into a new thing. So we're gonna go ahead and see how we do that by multiplying. Okay, so three times what is six? Well, three times two is six. So then four times two is eight. And if you count these, there are eight of them. Okay? All right, guys. I think you guys can see the shading okay in this one, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Okay? So four, we can't multiply and get two, but four divided by two is two, so then two divided by two is one. Okay, now I'm going to let you guys do this one. We can't multiply 6 and get 3, but we can divide 6 and get 3. So divide by 2 and then divide by 2. Okay, we're going to go ahead down here. And it says May painted 4 out of 8 equal parts of a poster board blue. Jared painted 2 out of 4 equal parts of the same size poster board red. Write the fractions to show each part. Okay, so we're going to do okay, so there's our eight, and okay. Okay, obviously not perfectly to scale because Miss Leah is not an artist. However, we'll get an idea. Okay, so Jared did two of these. Okay. May painted four. Okay. So four eighths and two fourths. Okay, so this one is May, this one is Jared, and that's all you had to do for that one. Okay. Okay. Are the fractions equivalent? So did we draw about the same amount right here? We sure did. So yes. All right, we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the final lesson check of the chapter. We're going to go down and do the spiral review. What division number sentence is shown by the array? Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus another 8 is 16. So we have 16, okay, divided by, okay, so we can either divide that by 2 and get the 8, or we can divide it by 8 and get the two. Take your pick. Either one will do just fine. Okay. So you put four plates on the table. You put one apple on each plate. What is a number sentence that can be used to find the total number of apples on a table? Well, four plates, one apple on each plate, it's four apples. Okay. Write a division number sentence that is related to this fact. Okay. So we're going to start with the answer, and then we're going to divide. So we can divide by 7 and then get 3, or we can divide by 3 and then get 7. Love those fact families. Okay, find the quotient. Well, I know that 4 goes into 36 times because 4 times 9 is 36. It's 9. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for Chapter 9. Come on back for Chapter 10. See you soon.